So why am I talking to you today about a cook who lived in Mississippi all those years ago? Actually, I have several reasons. Gladys could have become bitter about the treatment that she and other black persons received in segregated Mississippi, but she didn't. She loved Jesus. She trusted Jesus. And she demonstrated his love to all she knew. You and I can do that, too. Gladys wasn't a famous speaker. In fact, black women did not stand high on the social ladder in the Mississippi of her day. But talk about an influencer. Gladys was a simple, faithful Christian who lived for the Lord and who made a difference with people one-on-one. You and I can do that, too.